Hi, so I'm going to show you how to make the yarn for making your own knitted plastic things. Um, here I have a bag and I've laid it flat. Um, there's a dart built in and you want to make it flat there. And you usually you can pull on the handle to do that. Now what I do to make it easier to cut off the cut off the handles, because you want to cut off the handles and the seam at the bottom, is I roll it up or fold it up like so, so that um, I don't have to cut as long a distance. And then I take my handy dandy scissors, and you want to cut in pretty far in, like maybe an inch in from where you think you should, because there's usually a little hole or a place where they all attach, so I just snip that off. And I snip off the bottom too. And it doesn't have to be like exact or neat or anything. And I usually make them about an inch to an inch and a half long or wide, I should say. And um, if you do this right, um, you wind up with a bunch of tubes. And to make your yarn, because this isn't exactly yarn right now, you overlap them, or pass one through the other, like so, and you pull. Now, sometimes they get a little stuck at a certain point, and um, you can fix this. You really can. But um, you, one thing you want to do is make sure that your knots are on opposite sides of the plastic. Because otherwise you wind up with a knot like here and then all this extra plastic. But you can loosen it and then move it again. But um, it's just easier to do it this way. And then when you knit, you knit as though it's a you know, double knit. So this is your yarn right here. And that's it. That's my how-to. And you can see I started a project that's way too big. This pattern is way too big. Um, it's going to be like a gigantic beach bag. But... Um, no, I like it, and I'm using just white bags, and white with blue or red lettering shows up different. Um, and there's some black mixed in, too. But uh, if you use the Whole Food bags, which are, like, brown, um, they make, like, a stronger, sturdier thing, but they're a little harder to work with. And that's it. That's my how-to. Enjoy!